What's going on guys? In this video we are going to be discussing how to find your Python executable file. So when you're working with multiple Python versions, especially virtual environments, or if you're trying to get some of your virtual environment in Jupyter Notebook as kernels, then for debugging purposes, it's really good to know where your Python executable file is or which uh, Python executable file your virtual environment or your uh, system is using. So there's a, a few ways to do this and we're going to do everything through the command prompt and some of these commands will be a little different for bash. Basically, from the command prompt, there is a command called where in Windows and which in uh, bash. So if I type where, Python, it's going to tell me where my Python is located. Here, as you can tell, I only have uh, one Python version installed, which is uh, Python 3.6. On my other PC, I have multiple versions. So what happens is when you have multiple versions, all of them are displayed. Now, just out of curiosity, let's see, I have Python 3, Python 3.6. No, okay, so it's on the other PC, I have Python 3.6 installed. I'm going to check. Okay, Python 3.7 as well is not on this PC. All right, so where Python basically locates all of your installed Pythons. Now in Bash, it's supposed to be which Python. Currently, I have not installed Bash on this PC and I really need to install Ubuntu as well, so I cannot uh, test it out. I also don't have uh, SG uh, Sigwin on this PC as well. For Bash, it's just uh, which Python. Now let's create a virtual environment. So we're going to do virtual m and we're going to call it actually first i'll move into my desk and we'll do virtual m and we'll call it test one here we're creating a virtual environment called test one so if you guys don't know how to make virtual environments i actually have a video on that what virtual environments are and what the purpose is of uh, virtual environments all right so it's just going to take a few seconds for this to be done all right it looks like it's done now what we can do is we'll cd into test one, roll this down a little bit. All right, then uh, I think it's the scripts activate. This should be a backslash. So now by activating the virtual environment, we are currently in the virtual environment. So if I run Python, it's going to run the Python uh, virtual environment. Now from here, let's try which Python, oh, not which, sorry, where Python. All right, so you, now you'll see that if we run where Python from this virtual environment, you'll see that there's actually two different Pythons that are uh, displayed. So you'll have the first Python, Python EXE, which is the uh, virtual environment Python. And then you'll have the other Python, which is your uh, system Python. So as you can see, when you are in your virtual environment by running where Python, it also displays the virtual environment Python. And that's actually given priority because you'll see here the python.exe from your virtual environment is actually above the Python EXE from your system Python. So if I'm running Python in my virtual environment, I am actually calling the uh, virtual environment Python because that's giving priority once you've created a virtual environment. So I can just go into, let's see, actually, what I can do is just a uh, pip list. As you can see, by running pip, there's nothing installed because this is the virtual environment that I just created as opposed to my system Python, which has a lot of uh, framework. So that's the first way that we can check for uh, where our Python executable is located. The other way is actually from uh, Python itself. So what we can do is we can import sys. So let me go into Python first. We'll import sys. After importing sys, what we can do is we can actually print out sys.executable. So if you run sys.executable, it will run the location of the executable file of the Python we are currently using. So here, um, I'm in my virtual environment Python. So if I run sys.executable, it will run the path to the Python I am currently using. And we'll exit this, deactivate the virtual environment. And now what I'm going to do is call Python and I will import sys, sys.executable, and you'll see that sys.executable now is actually uh, targeting or displaying my virtual, not my virtual environment, sorry, my system Python, because currently we've deactivated our virtual environment and currently we are accessing the system Python. So the path to the system Python is C uses Mundra app data local blah 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 Python DEXE. So sys.executable will locate your uh, current Python, the Python you are currently using because sys.executable can only be ran within Python. All right, so 
that's it pretty much with this video we have we have learned how to locate where our python executable file is and this is very useful for debugging purposes this is something i actually needed to learn about and use recently due to trying to add kernels to the Jupyter Notebook and running into some problems. So I will also be creating videos with uh, Jupyter Notebook, how to add and remove kernels, because I think that's also uh, something that you guys might find useful. All right, so that's it with this video. I will see you guys 